Nongpong Bambiren reiterates that it is the responsibility of the state government to end the economic blockade. Ask the government to submit a written statement to the center if they are unable to resolve the problem. National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology, NILIT, states digital payment throughout the state will reduce the hardships of the people. And on its 49th birth anniversary, MPP says Manipur had a self-sustained form of government and will be one in years to come. Hello and welcome to Pack News. We're watching Primetime English News and I'm Premi Thangjum with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Spokesperson of BJP Manipur Pradesh and Biren reiterated that it is the responsibility of the state government to end the economic blockade. He asked the government to submit a written statement to the centre if they are unable to resolve the problem. Addressing media at the party's office in Nityai Pachutek, Biren alleged that the Congress is unable to work towards reducing the pain of the public and that they are not willing to work for the people. A team of BJP Manipur Pradesh, led by its president, met with the Union Home Minister Rajnath Singh and detailed the hardships faced by the people of the state to him. The Union Minister held a meeting of the Home Ministry and sent Minister of State Home Kiran Richichu to Imphal to check the ground realities. Biren reminded that additional security forces has been sent. Biren also sought clarifications from the Congress government in Manipur if they have sent any written request to the central government asking them to not include Manipur in the ceasefire agreement. He also questioned if the state government has notified the center on how many cadres and illegal camps of NSC and IM exist in the state. Also, if the government has provided any report of the involvement of NSC and IM in the recent twin ambush and if any actions have been taken up by the Home Department. Biren also asked if it's true that few police personnel are not allowed to use their weapons. He further questioned if the state government has asked CBI and NIA to investigate the Ukrul attack and who authorized the public meeting at Kangpokpi for the formations of South Nagalim. He also wanted to know what counter preparations did the government have in place knowing the fact that there would be retaliations once the new districts were announced and from which budget were the districts created. Biren demanded clarifications from the government as to what the emergency is to recruit for various departments, even conducting interviews at late nights during curfew. Afabo kudima bisha pina welcome tawi tawu the bo election oriented tawi bo mawong da ngasi thole bo posi whatever happening today because of that creation. Akoi na district piri si even si na economic blockade khangde amma khangde tawu ani si akoi well prepared ni moram di moi hana highlight bo ni. Madhudai da tawre adu raga di kari gida mukta praja mayam si wahan dina ba preparation go mena in advance tawu bo no. Karam ba tangai fada ba emergency amma di urgency lai bo gida mukta. कार फ्यू भाव तो गाय रखा कार ठारी बनो कुंग अम्मा हिंग भाव इंटरव्यू तो उरी बनो है बस 120 डेज इकोनॉमिक ब्लॉकेट तो वो मतलब द सैमसंग ने ना मतलब दो की यूएनसी की प्रेसिडेंट तो वन टेट लाउट हुए अदु वो फागी दे मतलब दो द फागी दे दो कोई ना खाने से मतलब दो द सेंडर लाइबर कांग्रेस on the other hand, clarifying on the accusations made by MLA Kumukcham Joy Kishind, General Secretary of BJP Manipur Pradesh, T.H. Bishwajit said, BJP is not an individual's party. He questioned Joy Kishind if he has met with any central leaders regarding the issue facing the public today. This is not the individual party. अपने पार्टी की डिसिप्लिन की मटुमे ना कमाएं तब उनका कमाएं तब उनका रिजोल्यूशन लव बदके कमाएं चक्कर दके कमाएं तब बदके हाई बिलेज बाप अकोई ना हंगी ये बाप काउंटर क्वेश्चन दे करीनो है गांडा करना मैं ब्लॉकेज है हम दोनों के दमक ता हाई बाप एक्स बाई जे तो ना करना करना चेंटर उन अभिजी बुलाई 
leaders of UNC expressed that they are ready to hold talks with anyone. A team of Goodwill Mission led by Goodwill Mission advisor R.V. Mingting, Zaliarong Union President Amukamai and Goodwill Mission convener Ningthaucha Lancha met the leaders of UNC at Sanapati District headquarters around 2 p.m. today on the hardships faced by the people due to the indefinite economic blockade along the national highways. The UNC leaders expressed their readiness to talk with the government to end the blockade. The Goodwill Mission team also expressed happiness over the lifting of ban on the vehicles entering Manipur by Naga Student Federation. BJP Manipur Pradesh Minority Morcha has alleged that MLA Shyam Kumar has misused 13 crore 93 lakh rupees in the name of the development of Andro Muslims under multi-sectoral development program. Speaking to media at the party's office, General Secretary of the Morcha, Mustan Salam, said the misuse of fund came to light with the help of RTI. MLA and his workers have utilized the fund to build their houses. Mustan claims that the facilities under the National Food Security Act are not being provided to those who are going to vote for BJP. He also said in the last 10 years rule of the MLA, there has been no good roads constructed and many people have fallen ill due to the deplorable roads. Mustan also stated that they will inform the center about the misdeeds of the MLA and seek actions against him. Andro Kendragi, 25% Muslim concentrated area, gi central government, minority development, Gidamakta, Tatrak by MSDB funding, Andro Esigi sitting ML in illegal Oiba power, Siji Naduna, Maki Senda Lambi Oina, Lut Tokre Haibasi, RTI Kutanga, Punamak Kangamle, Andro Kendrada, Lambi Tong Amapo Semdri, Andro Kendragi Lambi, Ufun Nakanga Iduna, Praza Miamzi, Polusan Tuktuna, TV Laina, Nana Babo Yaure, Andro Kendragi Chakotarangi, Pesakaya. Huran Kribasi, Central Government, the Minority Morzagi, Maike Dagi, Taxin Duna, Kes Tangatuna, Maku, Legal Way Action, Local and Duna, Punishment Pihangani. And BJP Andro Mandal claims that the Andro MLA has withdrawn a huge amount in the name of constructing Anganwadi buildings in the constituency without constructing. Any. In a press release, PRO BJP Andro Mandal states that they have information through RTI that the MLA has withdrawn 4,50,000 rupees in the name of building 20 Anganwadis. Manipur People's Party MPP observed its 49th birth anniversary at their office behind Polo Ground. Speaking on the occasion, President of the party and Sobakiran said, Manipur has a history of 2,000 years and a self-sustained form of government. He expressed belief that Manipur will be a self-sustainable government in years to come. As a part of the event, MPP's flag was hoisted and members sought the blessings of elders who have been members of the party since its inception. A public meeting was also held later. Addressing the mid, Sovakiran said the present crisis in the state is due to the dependence on national parties. MPP firmly believes that Manipur can withstand all by itself without the support of any national parties. Manipur can live peacefully if the resources available in the state are utilized appropriately. And Sovakiran further said the people of Manipur, including the intellectuals, have been brainwashed and they think the state will not survive without the help of BJP, Congress or NPP. The Lisingani Gip Wari Lerba, the Quigi, Lamdamsi the Poi nineteen sixty eight, the MPP Lin Columba say, Tuidona Nangai Oide, Hanadum, Barotna, Barota Hek Mars, the Womatam, the Lin Columba Dabani, Manipur People's Party say, Equimam, Sangana, Sing Saidana, Kari Kari Tauduna, Sakulan Baha say, Mayam Punumaki, Sidatin Viriba, Office Bearer Sing, Vice President Sing, a quick leader Singi. Quick Ajit Pat Hazabani, Ishana Ishabung Aksaba, Ishagi Lambi, Ishana Semba, Ishagi Yarport, Ikuna Semba, Ishagi Tong, Kazagi Yum, Ikuna Semba, Hypo Kulonjita, Nasi Manipur Prince Partina, Sangsin Jari. Students of Manipur University took out a rally today requesting the authority to not postpone the election of Manipur University Students Union to be held on the 28th of this month. Later, a memorandum was submitted to the Vice Chancellor and Election Returning Officer. The students said they will carry out hesitations if the election are not held on 28th of this month.
37 Archives Week Celebration Come Exhibition of Records donated by records donors was inaugurated at the Manipur State Archives Complex, Keshampa, today. The six-day exhibition is being organized by the Manipur State Archives Directorate of Art and Culture, Government of Manipur. Retired Principal of Law College Manipur, Padma Shri, R.K. Jalajit, Commissioner of Art and Culture, I.S.H. Dilip, and Retired Director of College Development Council, Manipur University, Yumna Mohendro Singh were among those present at the event. District Magistrate Imphal West has imposed curfew in Imphal West from 9 p.m. tonight till 4 a.m. of December 27. In his order, the District Magistrate said the order shall not apply to government agencies involved in informants of law and order, other essential services, and accredited media persons. Let's take a small commercial break. We'll be back in a short while. Keep watching Impact News. Beneath 100 meters from the Earth's surface, naturally filtered through sand and stones, pure, clean, and healthy water. Pen relief oil man. Kwang Naba, Hok Sikpa, Tang Sikpa, Amadi, Ku Naba Nising Buddha, Sinaba Yarba, Oza. Lips up group na putok saba, Oza, Sinabiu. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. Department of SCERT Government of Manipur informs that the written test for the recruitment of office superintendent, graduate teachers, science primary teachers, Hindi graduate teachers and Hindi instructor will be conducted on the 27th of this month from 10 a.m. till 1 p.m. at Hindi Teachers Training College. National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology, NELIT, organized a one-day workshop on digital payment at Imphal West District Sericulture Office today. NELIT Imphal has been organizing awareness program in different parts of the Manipur with an aim to impart knowledge on digital payment throughout the state. NELIT Joint Director Technical Angom Bubo said, if people have the knowledge about digital payment mode, the hardships faced by the public in buying goods, transferring money and long queues at ATMs are after demonetization would reduce. Nelit will host a mega workshop on digital payment on January 7th next year in Boat or MFDC Hall. Digital payment ki makan makan samna harbada adhar enable payment system oro natragana hogi USSD code sinner ga star 99 hash namaga akoi internet yaudrasu banking to wi to bodobu ujiki hariba USSD code sinner ga any GSM mobile phone amana ujik banking to wi ai Manipur da su akoi gi dukan ayamba phangnatri but tungda yam thuna akoi gi thama manung da di hopefully suma system me amse la arga di akoi gi ATM gi mamang da q sang na sang na lepi ba me amse si khara handa gadra haidana khanje as a part of the SVEEP activity calendar, a football match was played at Thao Ground today between Thangmiban constituency and Kaisham Thong constituency. Kaisham Thong beat Thangmiban 4-1. Later, a free medical checkup was conducted and biometric enrollment was also carried out at Lamphil and Wangoi subdivision. Speaking on the occasion, Deputy Commissioner of Imphal West Robert Singh Katrimayum said, the events we are organized today with an aim to have a free and fair election in in the upcoming state assembly polls. It may be mentioned that a district election to officer Imphal West has been organizing public health camps, biometric enrollment camps, etc. on the theme Free, Fair and Peaceful Football for Free, Fair and Peaceful Poll. Thank you. 
Manipur da Sendong Laina San Loiba, a book written by Dr. Y. Birahari Singh, was released today at the Directorate of Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Office, Lamphil. Joint Director of the Office, C.H. Nandakeshwar, released the book in presence of the media. Among many things, the book talks about breeding cattle in a right way, how to feed them, etc. Now to sports news. A one-day cricket match between MCA 11 and Manipur Sports Journalist Union was held at Luang Pokpa Cricket Stadium in Luang Sangbam yesterday. Winning the toast, MCA 11 batted first and scored 136 runs in 25 overs with a loss of 9 wickets. In reply, Manipur Sports Journalist Union were dismissed for 97 runs in 23.5 overs. On the other hand, after defeating Bihar 5-1 in the one-day bilateral series, Manipur beat Bihar 2-0 in the T20 match. Officials of MCA presented awards to the winning team and players in the Manipur and Bihar bilateral series organized by Manipur Cricket Association. STTA Sekta will clash with BSU Nongpo Kakching in the final match of the third Sekta Trophy football tournament. In the first semi-final match played today, STTA Sekta trash Lamlai FC 6-0. S Toy netted three goals as Basanta 2 while W Bisheshore netted one goal for the winner. While in the second semi-final match, BSU Nongpo Kakching and FC Tello scored three goals each in the stipulated time. In order to decide the match, a tie break was held in which both the teams needed seven goals each and then the two teams were drawn with ten goals each. As per the rule of the tournament, a toss was held to decide the match in which BSU Nongpo Kakching won to book the bird in the final. The final match will be played on the 29th of this month. LYSSU Lilong Kaitel and CYDOL Chajing Chingkong won their respective matches of the 28th Langtabal Kendra football tournament that kicked off yesterday. In the second league tournament today, LYSSU Lilong Kaitel beat LKCC Langtabal Kaupum 3 2. Arbin Ashes and Krishna Das of the winning team scored a goal each. From the losing team, Akam scored both the goals. In the third league match of the tournament, CYDOL Chajing Jingkong tras LSC Langtabal 5 0. El Pradeep and Romario scored two goals each and Momo scored one goal for the winning team. There will be two league matches tomorrow and the tournament is organized by Chajing Inat Kanbalub at their ground. Before we end the bulletin, a quick look at the headlines once again. Nongtong Bambiran reiterates that it is the responsibility of the state government to end the economic blockade, asks the government to submit to return statement to the centre if they are unable to resolve the problem. National Institute of Electronics and Information Technology nearly states digital payment through the state will reduce the hardships of the people. And on its 49th birth anniversary, MPP says Manipur had a self-sustained form of government and will be one in years to come. <laughs>